Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the energy update for my friends Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, so let's find out together what's coming through for you. Energies for you, the Six of Wands and the Emperor. Energies for your person, the Four of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. Between you and your person, we have the King of Swords. Meeting energies, the Nine of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords and the King of Wands. The Oracle cards, Clean It Up and Tick Tock. So time is of the essence, if we think about this connection, guys, there is going to be a major conversation between you and your person of interest. This person is not going to shy away from the talk that you kind of want to have with them. The problem can be what this person can say to you, because it seems that you and this person have been seeing each other for a while now, the two of you had some moments together for a reciprocal satisfaction, but you can still be in your Nine of Pentacles status, so the connection may not be official yet. You can start to smell troubles, Eight of Swords, because the connection can become a little bit more uncomfortable due to the Four of Pentacles energy that your person of interest can manifest. And the man in the Four of Pentacles doesn't really want to share the Ace of Pentacles, which is a cornerstone, a major agreement in order to build for the future. So the Ace of Pentacles is what the Nine of Pentacles lady is looking for. Some of you may have to figure out if this person can truly be a fair companion for you in the long run, because they can be a passionate lover, yes, but they seem to be quite stubborn and kind of lost, Four of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, if we think about the chance to move a romantic connection forward. I also want to say that some of you can be slightly older than this person, if that's not the case, you can definitely be more mature than them. So basically more ready to embrace a romantic connection in order for it to go the distance successfully. Guys, the Six of Wands can be an energy about a positive development towards victory and success. You have to figure out if it is possible to clear the air with this person positively, because if that's not possible, you may have to cut your losses about this situation. So you may have to release this person in order to pursue different opportunities moving forward. Let's pull more cards. Let's see what we can get. It's a big conversation, the one that you will have with your person in any case. Ten of Pentacles for the Six of Wands, what you want. Page of Wands for the Emperor, Six of Swords for the Four of Pentacles, they do not want to rock the boat, Nine of Swords for the Ace of Swords, Eight of Swords for the Nine of Pentacles, Three of Cups for the Eight of Swords, and the Judgment for the King of Wands. This is going to be a wake-up call for your person of interest, a make-it-or-break-it type of moment for this connection, your person is super anxious about the necessity to do more in favor of this connection and they can struggle big time with that, guys. They do not see commitment right now. They do not feel it. They can become more and more uncomfortable. They have had some fun with you Three of Cups, let's think about the lighter touch, about the energy, together with the King of Wands. But now you have plans in your mind, Ten of Pentacles, which can even be a family picture. And it can be the goal for the Nine of Pentacles lady. And the two of you can feel more and more uncomfortable about the connection, even if because of different reasons. And the Emperor and the Page of Wands together can be quite a contrast because we come back to the consideration about the fact that 
if we take away the fun and games type of concept from the connection, you may start to see your person of interest like someone that is not exactly mature in order to handle a connection properly. So instead of a king of wands, you can see them like a page of wands. And at some point, you will have to make a decision about the connection. Time is almost up in any case, guys. Tick tock. And even if your person doesn't want to rock the boat, it seems that the conversation will serve that purpose because if you do not like what this person can say to you about the opportunity to share the Ace of Pentacles, you can move in a different direction. Guys, I do not want to sound harsh, but some of you are starting to think that the connection can become a waste of time and energy is because your person doesn't really want the same thing that you want to manifest. So what should you focus on in a situation like this one? Here we go, bunch of cards, five of pentacles, not enough, shaky grounds, shaky foundations, and then a lot of misunderstandings if we think about a communication flow. That's why it's necessary to clear the air, guys. And you have already started to connect all the dots, King of Swords, about your person's mindset. That's why you can start to smell troubles. Four of Swords, an introspection. I need to think about the situation. Your person, maybe, has tried to manifest the energy in order to avoid the topic, the elephant in the room. Not possible anymore. Hanged man, stuck situation, uncomfortable position, opportunity to achieve enlightenment because of the judgment as well. And then some of you guys may change your mind. And in some sense, the truth of your person of interest, basically forced by the conversation to be honest with you, can set the hanged man free from the uncomfortable position. Uh, what may be a little bit disappointing can be the outcome because the connection can be on the line. Nine of swords, recurrent energy, and the seven of pentacles, our time factor, TikTok. The situation has been kind of put on the back burner for a while now. So it's a um, all or nothing type of crossroads, uh, with or without you type of situation as well. And the conversation is going to be intense. What's the obstacle other than the four of pentacles of your person? The emperor. Some of you do not want to make a decision just yet because you can hope that your person can wake up in favor of the connection. If we want to flip the concept about the emperor, you may start to think that your person is not ready for a 10 of pentacles partnership. So they cannot match you guys. That's why I was saying that you can be more mature. Queen of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. Someone that can be iffy about the opportunity to go all in in favor of a romantic connection. And some of you in particular may have to read the intentions of this person because you can also call them out by saying that they have been in the connection merely for the fun of it. And maybe the two of you got along extremely well uh, if we think about the chemistry, you know? It's not enough, guys. We need more in order to manifest a Ten of Pentacles partnership. And some of you can be aware of that. Your person can be a smart human being. They can be intelligent enough to understand that the connection is falling short and they are playing a huge part in that. So if they want something else, they should say it. And then the two of you can be free to pursue other situations, guys. Even if the outcome stings a little, of course. Let's ask for guidance about this situation.
Hold on, hold on, all right. These cards, definitely. And then I want this one as well. Look, eight of cups, all right. Ten of swords, strength card, and the ace of swords, the recurrent energy in the guidance position. So, my friends, the conversation is going to be sharp. A little bit cold as well. And the odds are not exactly in favor of your person of interest. The Eight of Cups can be the opportunity to leave behind an unfulfilling situation because there can be a realization that fulfillment of art and soul should be pursued in a different scenario. Guys, the moon in the background is about the fact that some of you have struggled to understand why your person can be so reluctant to jump all in in favor of this connection. The Ten of Swords can be a disappointment that you have already started to experience, but then it can almost be like a phrase, are we done? If the Ace of Pentacles is off the table, are we done? It's possible because some of you may run out of patience for understandable reasons, and then you may struggle to trust this person if we think about the chance to give to them the benefit of the doubt and a little bit more time. Time is up, guys. And the Ace of Swords can be a verdict. I wouldn't say a mutual decision, guys, because your person doesn't want to let go of the connection with you. They want it on their terms. So if you want to call off the connection, this is going to be your decision. And it can be justified by the fact that the type of progression that you have been nurturing in your heart cannot be properly manifested together with this person because they want something else. So if you ask me, it is always better to get that type of realization sooner rather than later, if we think about a romantic connection in its early stages. And then the two of you will be free to pursue what can make you truly fulfilled, what can amplify your inner happiness. There is a rite of passage that can be a little bit harsh, the Ten of Swords, but it can be necessary, guys, in order to basically unstuck yourself from a situation that may truly become a dead end. So the sooner the conversation happens, the better it can be for you in particular. Guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like, and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow. So thank you. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.